Hello guys and welcome to my new video of Python full stack course for beginners. So let's get started. So guys in this video we will be seeing how we can create a simple decent calculator in Python. So let's get to it. So guys first we need to import a module which is math. So it is just to uh, perform square rooting because there is no other way to do it. Now after this we will just print a write up which is just to guide the user what all do he need to do in order to calculate. I will just put six double quotation marks so that whatever I print just prints in the right format. So I've just quickly printed the write up. So here it is. It is just it just says calculator type add to sum subtract to subtract multiply to multiply this is this x and this is hash and modulus to divide sq to square sqrt to square root simple so after that we just need to create some functions which we'll call whenever we need so i'll just define my add function and just pass two parameters a and b and just print the sum of them a plus b now i'll just quickly copy this function and just paste it over six times i'll just change the name of the function subtract multiply divide square square root so after this i just need to change the operational sign which is uh, sub in subtract I just need to change it to minus in this I just need to place an asterisk here I need to just make it a hash and in square I just uh, in square we need only one argument because there is only one number which we want to square so we will just make it a and we will just print out a into a which is square exactly similar with the square root and we will just call a math of function math of module we'll just call a function in our math module i'll say math dot and here you can see we have got a function square root and we'll just pass the parameter or a function here so it will just print out the square root of whatever number the user will type so after this we need to create a separate function so that whenever we need we can call that function so i'll just define my function and name it calculate no arguments in it simply i'll just ask for the user input so i'll say take just the name of the variable and i'll say input so we are just saying that enter the operation type now we need to check what the operation sign is so we'll say if my operation sign is which is or take is equal to or add which is here and we'll just quickly ask for two user inputs which will be let's say number one and we'll just quickly copy this and ask for the second number which is number two and after this we'll just call a function which is add and pass the two parameter which is number one and number two very easy now let's try this function it says calculator type plus or add to sum negative or sub to subtract multiply which is x or asterisk to multiply hash or modulus to divide square to square sqrt to square root but the problem is that we didn't call this function so we just need to copy this and we'll call it here let's try it again so now here it comes it says enter the operation type so we have only created plus or add yet so let's try it we i'll just say add and it says enter the first number let's enter five and let's enter anything and it says 428 so a function is working now we just need to copy and change the inputs so what i'll do is i'll just simply copy this 
and paste it six times basically five times and here we have got six functions now we just need to change the sign i'll say negative sub x or asterisk hash or modulus and for the square and square root we only need one condition because we have only said then we can only type sq to square we don't have any other option so we don't need to create an or statement we'll just remove it and we'll say it should be square and similar for square root also for square root and square we only need one input basically we don't need two numbers so we'll just remove them and as we have one input so i'll just remove the first also now let's change the functions so for subtract we need to call the function subtract for multiply we need to call the function multiply similar for divide and this for square in square function we only need one parameter else it will show a an error and here we have to call square root similar with this now let's try running it and let's see if any error we face okay so let's try all the functions let's do negative enter the first number 70 let's enter 50 and it says 20 let's run it again and let's do multiply i've just entered x and let's enter 60 and 50 and it says 3000 let's run it again and let's enter backslash enter the first number 70 and this 5 and it says 14 let's square a number and let's type sq enter the number 50 and it says 2500 let's square root a number this time i'll say 625 and it says 25 so guys you must have guessed that it's not at all easy to always recalculate so that's why after we have performed a function we'll ask for an input if the user wants to calculate again or not also this is not a healthy way and why is it not a healthy way because if we create an else statement here let's say the user doesn't type this operation this operation or any of the operations given here then what will happen is if he enters anything else than that then we need to create an else statement for that saying that it's an invalid input but if we create an else statement then what will happen is if any of the statement is not correct then that else statement will be called that's why we need to make all of them elif elif is just nothing but else if also if you didn't get what i meant then please check out my previous videos i've explained elif else if in great detail i'll just create an else statement and i'll say print out invalid input after this we'll just take an input from the user and we'll just name it take underscore just to make it different and we'll just say input and we'll say so i just said press enter to calculate again so what will happen is if the user enters enter then the value of this take will be just an empty string which is this so we know what is the value of the string so simply we can create an if statement we can say if or take underscore is equal to this empty string then we'll just call this function calculate again that's why i said to create a function calculate so that whenever we need we can call this function again and again now if the user enters anything else then we'll just quit or you can say exit so what this exit will do it will just simply exit the function which means that the function would no longer work so it says enter the operation type so let's enter add and it says enter the first number 60 605 and it says press enter to calculate again so if you type enter then it again starts and let's do divide so it says enter the first number 60 okay so we have got an error because i didn't enter 60 it was not even an integer okay so we need to run again we can also counter this error but for that we need to know try and accept statements which i haven't done yet so i won't be going into details we are just creating a decent simple calculator so we need not to create some professional type 
So now I'll enter SQRT which is square root and enter the number like let's say which number 729 and says 27 and it works fine. So guys that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, subscribe and share for more and I'll see you guys in the next video.